All right, I got you, bro. Shalom. Uh, Shalom. Yeah. We're going to start out by giving infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekar Kodash. And uh, we got the brothers from the uh, GMS ATL. Uh, Y'all can introduce yourself. Shalom. This is Gamal Yala. Shalom. Shalom. This is Brother Kasha Kuala. All right, and it's, um, we from GMS, Louisiana, uh, Yaquab uh, and Yakanon, and we coming in through the spirit, man, to prophesy, man, and do what we commanded, man, and lighten the whole for elect, man. Push this truth across the four winds, man. We just gonna have an open forum and talk about current events, man. Stand on our watchtower and just push this truth, man. Uh, what I, I looked at today, man, uh, nothing done in darkness, everything done in darkness is going to become the light. I see these fucking uh, pedophile-ass motherfucking priests finally uh, getting put out in the open. You know, we all know it's been going down, but, you know, Esau is ratting on Esau now. They got a scripture that say that, man. They're going to drop, put their tongues on one another, man. And uh, they everything done in darkness coming to the light, man. The, uh, who, the, the, the truth about who the Israelites come in the light, uh, the devil and all his all his dirt he's done throughout the eons is coming to light, and we living in some beautiful times, man. Uh, our, uh, our, our Israel, the Israelis, is threatening Iran. America is threatening Iran. All right, and Iran and Russia is back by Russia will back Iran. You know, so uh, the cups of World War Three is upon us, man. Hey, uh, excuse me, real fast. This is uh. What you just said this is uh psalm 64 and i'm gonna start about i'm gonna get to the point eight it says uh so so they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves all that they, they see them shall fall away come on, man and you got these devils coming out the wood we're exposing everything they, that's been kept back in darkness man uh you got these devils exposing the so-called illuminati these priests, they've been putting, they've been molesting children since the beginning of fucking time, since they didn't came into power in the 1400s, you know, and in our day and time, they're getting exposed for it, man. Yeah, I got one. Nope. I got one more. This is uh, Job 15 and 5. It says, For thy own mouth uttered iniquity, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty, thy own mouth condemned thee, and I am, and, and I, like it says, and I, and not I, yea, thy own lips testify against thee. Con Esau is about to fall, man. He's been, he, he, he's been, you got it, bro. Like I said, these devils and pretty much through uh, many whistleblowers and uh, different guys that was amongst the organization to come out exposing them with the piece of gate, you know, uh, Roman Catholic Church. How you say they pedophile, they basically pedophiles and doing things to little boys and little girls. This is coming out, man. Then those people who's uh, exposing them, they they uh, label them as quacks, as uh different uh rejects and shit, man. It's like this other lady, the Emma Rose lady. She exposing how Trump uh, saying nigga and different other things, man. They, they trying to get it out the way too. Uh, I got some real quick. Was you done on that, bro? Yeah, I'm done on that. Out. Uh, I got some real quick. This uh Luke 11 and 17. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house fallen. All right, so like the argument we're going into, all right, um, you know, Satan is, is losing it, man. You know, this, the so called white man is, is losing grip over his kingdom, man. Like, like the brother said, you got, uh, uh, you know, these different scandals being brought out and, and you know, it, it, this devil is being exposed on every level, man. Every level, like you know, the pedophilia, the 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 lies, the all the deception that this devil has been doing, all that, man. You know, but I keep going. Uh, verse eighteen: If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. All right. So as you see, it says if if Satan also be divided against himself, all right? Which you got so many different viewpoints from so many groups of Edomites. You got your American, you know, your so-called American, uh, quote unquote, non-racist white people. You know, you got your uh, your, your, your uh, redneck, uh, 
uh, Confederate flag, white people. Then you got your uh, uh, your Russians. You got your uh, Christian white people. It's it man. It's so many different sections and and, and different viewpoints of of, of so called white people. It's all divided, man. This place is gonna crash, man. Y'all brothers gotta know if, if anybody. All right, I got your precept, bro. This um, uh -huh. Luke eight and seventeen. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Near neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. All right, and we living in a day of uh, information, the information age, man. Mm -hmm. And um, in the end times, man, the Most High was exposing everything that had the children of Israel in the risen. And one of the, the biggest lie ever t was ever told in our age is who the children of Israel is. And that's first and foremost is coming and being screamed from the mountaintops, man. Who the, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latin speaker are the people of the Most High, man. All right? And who's been hiding it? Who's been spending billions and billions of dollars to, to keep that lie tucked? Uh, Psalms 83 tell you all the elites of the nations have been doing that, man. They've uh -huh. made a great tumult to hide our nationality for us. And that's one of the biggest lies being exposed and been screened from the mountaintops, man. Right. You know? God, hey, that's that's right, bro. And uh, hey, you even, uh, since you mentioned Psalm 83, um, Jake is waking up to that too. You know, you got you got these Jakes getting pissed off at the uh, the, the Asian uh, nail nail salons. Jake is waking up to the fact that all these other nations and and the so-called white man is, is basically a uh, uh, merchant. You know, just live, living off of them, man. You know, but that's that's all a part of this thing. You know, that division. Yeah, I got one of the brothers from the the page is uh, GMS last seconds of times. He uh he uh, quoted. Matthew 24 and 24 said it says uh for there shall arise false Christ false prophets and show and show great signs and wonders and as much that if it were possible they should deceive the very elect but it's not possible man because uh, it, that greatest the greatest uh lie was told that you know if they were the people of the most high that that uh, the people of the Most High was the Israelis and so on and so forth. Now that lie is up. The gig is up, man. You can go to your your local grocery store. You know, you can go sit down with your with your with your wife, or whatever, and go somewhere, go out somewhere with your boys or whatever. You can hear people talking about the Israelites. It coming up. You know, it, it comes up in the most odd places, man, that you could think of, man. The workplace, so on and so forth, man. So Jake waking up, man. Even even now now what you see the times we're living in is the Israelite Gentiles man a lot of the Israelite Gentiles you know waking up man. Right. Um, and I want to add on to what the brother say about the motherfucking uh, heathens that that get rich off off us that lick our sores man that like the, the Asians in the fucking nail shops these fucking um uh, camel jockeys in every hood near you USA. These prophecies are coming to pass, and they're going to go back to their motherfucking lands, man. Because Jay going to wake up, even the two-thirds. They're going to wake up cornerly and run the motherfuckers out, man. You know, I seen one clip where a chick went in the nail salon and was just passing out pamphlets to all the people in the nail salon saying, come to me, bring that money to us, keep that money in our community, you know? Black yeah, Black Beast. Let me bring out this uh, Isaiah 13, verse 14. And it shall... It shall be as the chase rope and as a sheep that no man take it up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. And that's going to happen when, when shit hits the fan in America, man. Jay going to wake up. Uh, even when the two thirds wake up, it's going to be too late. They're going to get away of their nationality, too. But it's going to be too late. You know, they're going to have to drink of that, that, that cup that you have about Shemar Shai have for them. But these other nations, man. They 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 come here for the American dream to get money and to get rich. And when you look at every fucking nation here, bro, uh, Ammon, Moab, Ishmael, Elon, the on, I don't see them with no lucrative businesses where without them making money off of Jake, bro. Yep. I don't I don't see no lucrative businesses without them without Jake in the equation, man. Yep. You know. And they're going to get judged for that shit, man. And then you go in their fucking stores, you, 
You could go to that store every day. If you 10 cents short, they're going to shit on you and kick you out the fucking store, man. And that's why we living in some beautiful times, man. Everybody's about to receive their judgments, man. Yep. Yeah, bro. Uh, just to add to what you were saying, that's that's one reason why the, uh, the elites haven't made their move yet. Okay, it's because they they realize that if 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 they just just basically cut Jake off, then they ain't gonna make no money. Okay, nope. which ultimately is all the timing of, of the heavenly father, you know. But but that's one reason why the elites, because you know, if 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 they kick out all the all the Issacharites like they say they want to. Right, then it ain't gonna be no damn labor, and you ain't gonna have no no more construction workers, no more cooks, you know, and and like you said, like the buying power, you know, they people always uh, mention the black dollar, the black dollar, you know, the the buying power of 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 these niggas is is, is crazy, niggas niggas huh. buying all up all the uh, even all the designer stuff, you know. Everybody make money off. Everybody makes money off of Jake, man. You know, but I got something real quick too. Uh, this is Revelation uh, eighteen and nine, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. All right, so you're gonna have these nations. All right, all everyone that's making merchandise from America. All right, from that from that uh from that Babylonian wine, everybody that's been sipping on that Babylonian uh uh hunch punch, man, they they're gonna be pissed off once they see America's uh uh through, okay? Because they make their money here. This is where this is where uh uh everyone makes their money, okay? This is this is the, the cash cow, so to speak, you know. Uh let me see if there's any more. Uh yeah, I I'll, I'll keep going. Um Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And this is the point, verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. See that? So these these different nations, man, they they gonna be they gonna be pissed. All right, because they they're gonna weep over that, like, damn, man, we was making. You know that dollar we was making so much money you know imports and exports and you know uh we don't have no one to buy our uh our fuel or, or oil anymore you know i can show someone I, screen up say it say it again i wanted to show someone on the screen oh god yeah 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 you good for all the for all the uh different numbskulls out here man i don't think this is this is how the u.s gets all this commodities man on these different ships car you know they come in by the boatload they come in through the through uh the panama canal in different yep. different regions of the earth man uh -huh. numbskulls out there think that they have these big ports in california uh these big ports in houston the big ports are all in new york this is how you get your designer shit man you know, this yeah. is all your all your uh little trinkets and plastic pieces that you love so much all that old Yankee number three hair, that old Brazilian hair and shit, it come through these ports, man. These yeah. different ships like this, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all them shipping containers, man. Yeah. That's how they come. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's probably like uh, right there, what you're looking at, that's probably like a, a million dollars worth of uh, shit, man. Yeah. More than that, bro. Yeah, your different cars and shit come in. Your different import of cars from China and shit come in through these ships, man. Okay. And so, so keep on reading too, because it's gonna it's gonna get busy. You know, it's gonna get into it. You know, uh, and, and let me, before you start, let me add on to this: when mm -hmm. War War Three is implemented, and Russia drives a line in the water, China drives draws a line in the water. What happens to business and commerce? What happens to those little things that you take for granted, man? Everything comes from fucking China. Yeah, man, this country this country gonna go belly up, man. The economy is gonna crash, man. Yeah. When what is gonna be what happened in the 1930s, man, when World War II came, bro. Yeah. All right, that was that what, what they call it, the Great Depression. This is gonna be a, a Great Depression mutated to the hundred power, man. That's right, because bro. during the Great Depression in the 30s, people people it was it was bad, but people still was making. All right. This Great Depression is gonna have famine. 
You still had electricity and business and commerce going on in the 30s. Al Capone was getting it in in the 30s, all right? But when it happens this time, when World War III is implemented, man, it, what's going on in um, Venezuela ain't going to have nothing that was going to happen here in America, man. It's yes. going to be the, the book of Eli for real. Yeah, and the only reason why it really did, we were really in the Great Depression, but the only reason why it's not uh, looked at that way because you have these different uh, homeless groups, the YMCA, the different little uh, food banks is helping these different cities to stay afloat. If it wasn't for those, man, you'll see lines like this, man, around the fucking corner soup. Uh, you'll see different uh, places where you can go get rice and beans, man. That's going to be the new commodity, rice and beans, man. Yeah. Like, look at these fucking ass, look at these jackasses, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eating beans and rice and bread. You know? God, bro. God. They used to call that shit. In, in the Great Depression, it was something they used to call those places. Uh, Was it a soup kitchen or some shit? Yeah, that's gonna be a soup, yeah. soup kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Got it. God, if, if I may say, because you mentioned, <clears throat> you know, uh, right now we're kind of in like, a, you know, recession and, or depression as of right now. And what people don't understand is that uh, America is considered a third world country, mm -hmm. uh, primarily because of the fact that we eat GMOs. Mm -hmm. OK, so uh, that we have GMOs is another in, uh, indication um, that we're in, a, we're in the midst of a famine as well, mm -hmm. because America has to replace what they, you know, their organic produce because there's not enough for the, uh, you know, the population of America mm -hmm. and they got to turn it and make it into GMO so it can uh, produce in um, uh, not a quality state, but more of a quantification. Yeah. So everybody can eat. Yeah. They, they got to uh, scientifically, um, they got to, they got to basically clone now, you know, now they clone and meat. They got to clone these mesh vegetables and meat because like the brother saying, it ain't enough, you know, it's not enough because they, Esau done killed, they done killed the, all the soil. Mm -hmm. So the soil ain't, ain't reaping shit. Hey, you know, hey, you know, all this, you know, mm -hmm. obviously stems back to you how about shy, but yeah. even um, uh, and you see what's happening over in California with the wildfires. It's always hot; they're going through droughts. Yeah. Now, California is the number one state uh, food producer for the United States yeah. of America. Mm -hmm. um, about sixty percent of the food that all of us go to the grocery store and get and buy comes from California. So, California, the Lord knows what He's doing when He systematically. Uh, taking this um, this uh, devilish ass place down, man. He's hitting, he's he's attacking the food source right then and there. You know, yeah. one thing that's going on in California right now that's not really in the news. They're actually in debate of having a petition to actually divide California up into three states within the state. You know, yep. and that's going to. I mean, that place is already high as fuck the state at, and already they already in the point of. Uh, Basically defaulting, you know. I think they defaulted one once before when uh, uh what did they Arnold Schwarzenegger was there, man. They kind of they kind of went bankrupt. They they're gonna go back bankrupt too, man. Yeah, you know, even even uh, uh Texas, mm -hmm. you know, it's been they've been talking about seceding since like what 2015, 2016. You know, like they've been talking about uh seceding out of the United States, and that's a very big possibility, you know. Uh, it's it's the spirit that we're going into the um, you know things that are going on, especially Esau, you know, rising up against itself. And even when you brought that scripture out of Job, I think it was the 15th chapter, um, it says they testify against one another. Well, how are we bringing out in this lesson right now? How are we bringing out these uh, specific facts and these you know mm -hmm. these pictures, these uh, images that you're bringing up on you know on your screen? Because the whistleblowers of them damn selves, yep. the Edomites of, them, of themselves are like, man, look at America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's like easy picking. It's free reign to uh, bring out the truth against, against this place and how it's, it's circling the dream right now. And, and to add on what you're saying, brother, um, back in the 60s before uh, that nigga Malcolm X got whacked, mm -hmm. He, he was talking about the, the coons that were selling their souls. And he was, and he, you know, he was a good researcher when you listen to some of the shit he used to say. And he used to, he one, one, um, on one clip I saw him say, Why would somebody sell their soul for this American money when the nation's economists themselves say that the economy is falling, it's going down, that the dollar is plummeting? And that was back in the 60s, man. 
you know? Right, because I, I wanted to add something to the brother, what he was saying, too, about the, that, that whole Texas thing. You know, uh, that's why they came with the Jay Helm thing, too, because they know they're going to – one demographic or one state that they're going to take down the most is Texas because there's some proud devils over there for us uh, having guns and different laws that they have in that particular state. And also, them devils are so proud because I was a part of the oil and gas industry down there. They so proud with that industry to where they thought nothing could ever happen to it. And then within the last three years, they didn't, they didn't belly up for it, oil and gas. The barrel of gas is just, it ain't shit to sustain itself, man. It haven't came back either, you know? God. Everybody got laid off down there, man. And them, them Edomites that had those big $90,000 pickup trucks and, and houses and shit, you know, they losing their mind. A lot of them committed suicide, man. Yeah. Everybody losing their damn mind. <laughs> uh, I, do, I do got a, a quick precept, if y'all brothers don't mind. Uh, yeah. To continue in um, that revelation, too, got some more meat in there. But go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, I'll just finish up on it. It's, uh, verse 12. <laughs> the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thyme wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of uh, most precious wood and of brass and of iron and, hey, and marble. Where that stuff coming from? The marble and, and the different wood? It's coming from Malaysia, these different countries. America not producing it. This, I mean, when we was, uh, before some of us was born, this place was known as the the, uh, the great melting pot or whatever they want to say. It was a uh, stone, what it, what it was. It was uh, known for steel. It was known for producing different, um, Goods and stuff that would that will last you for years on top of years. Now it's not that no more. The, the jobs are gone, man. You can forget it. All these we, the things that they used to have here in America for as uh people making their own goods and businesses and having different um metals for as steel and producing different stuff like that. That shit gone, man. You can forget it. You can just spread out, forget it. Right? But go ahead, up. Right? Time. Verse 13, and cinnamon and odors and, o and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Right. Hey. Slaves and souls of men. Yeah. You know, that that, that, that that signifies us. That signifies the different, like the mystical rights, man. The mystical rights come over here. They, you know, they come over here. It's a lot of them. You know, it's a book. It's a book. Uh. I was meaning to order. It show you how they they bring people over in containers, man, and use them as uh, sex slaves. They use them as uh, different uh, slaves to uh, to cook and clean around the house, man. And that shit was that shit was big in Houston. They find a lot of uh, people from Africa and different nations was uh, staying at Edomite's houses when they when they go to their house for whatever reason. They find out that the person that was in their house is undocumented, and they'd be from damn they'd be from fucking the Philippines somewhere, man. So this place had the souls of men, of people, man. Mainly our people in it, man. God, that's right. Can we keep going? Yeah, go down to like uh, 15. Okay, God. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which, which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find them no more at all. Like, I just, you might want well to, you got so much meaning, you might want well to glow all the way to the end, huh? God, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. And and yeah, so they, so they they're gonna be weeping and wailing, man. You know, the the merchants, like the brother was saying, all these merchants from different. I mean, you got so many countries. Uh, America gets all their stuff from exports. Uh, it's like imports, you know. Verse 16, and saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. And every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what great city is like this great city yeah because like we said you know america really america is the most powerful kingdom uh that ever existed 
you know? You know, uh, and I'm, I'm talking about it as far as uh, uh, resources and, and, and economic, economical dominance, you know? America run, runs this shit, man, you know? And, and, you know, of course, they're slowly losing it to, to China and Russia, you know? But the, the scriptures show you, I mean, this, this, this chapter is basically telling you the power that America has over the world. Okay, because these people are literally gonna be—they're literally gonna be crying over the, over America, man. You know. <laughs> hey, I heard I heard the brother Walk from uh, Mississippi camp say the other day, man, America is the only place that could attack somebody, and the people don't even try to fight back, man. They drop yep. bombs on on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. They don't fight back, man. They go in people countries and just take their natural resources, and they don't even fight back, man. That's their you're right. That's that great power on earth, man. Right. Yeah. Hey, America. Like, uh, like fucking Debo on Friday, man. God. <laughs> what bite? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God. That's America, though, man. God. America, you know, what, what oil? You know? Right. Just take all that shit, man. You know? <laughs> uh, verse 19. And they cast dust on their heads and cried. Weeping and wailing, saying, oh, I, I read this already, but I, I, I keep reading. Saying, Alas, alas. I was going to say, Salaki, right? like say it again. I said, Salaki, the beautiful part about that, when, when that deal go down, man, I would love, you know, see that, what would we say? I would love to see the look on their face, because you're going to see these uh, these different ship decks and these different captains on these ships. I mean, they're going to get the, you know, what the, the emoji? Motherfucker got the hand on his head like this, they're gonna be on the on the deck like damn that bitch is gone. He's gonna be <laughs> burning up, man. Fire, yeah. I mean, you can see fire down there the side of the Empire State Building over here, man. When it get when it gets completely destroyed, man. You know, this this thing gonna be tough by we say that proudly, man. When America goes down, man, just like 9-11 went down, and that and that uh that whole deal with that, that was televised. You had a 360 view. From helicopters, phones, everything. This deal is gonna go down to where uh, people in Europe, Iceland, New Zealand, Hong Kong, they're gonna see this shit, man. The people in the ships that the, the, the brother is reading, mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna see it, man. They're gonna you're gonna feel the heat from the different, you know, that's gonna be a lot of heat, man. 200 million missiles mm -hmm. off in this place. That, you're gonna feel the heat in Hong Kong and China some goddamn what, man. Mm -hmm. You got cars. Uh, plants, re refineries, and shit over here. There's a lot of shit to burn up over here, man. But mm -hmm. like, I, you know, go nah, ahead. Nah, you good, bro. And that's the spirit, cause hey, even these, even these people, like overseas, uh, in these different countries that hate America, they even gonna be shaking up. Like you, you know, North Korea, they be saying bomb America and all that shit. And you know, hey, these North Koreans, they gonna be shaking up when they see that shit. Even though they, even though they in that spirit of, you know. America, you know, being destroyed. Once they actually see it, they're gonna be like, "Damn!" And you know, like you said, they're gonna be in awe, man. You know. Hey, hey, hey what your boy said on uh, Planet Apes? They really did it. They really <laughs> did it. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bro. Yep. So it says, uh, "Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her coastlines." For in one hour she is made desolate. Right. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye, ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. And that's call out Yahabashim Yah Shai, man, because he's going to deliver the elect out of this shithole, man. You know? Right. Because it, it really, that's, that's, uh, that's him avenging, avenging uh, uh, the elect, man. You know? It says rejoice, rejoice over her, meaning you know be be glad, man, be glad that that this shit is over, man. This this fucking American nightmare, man. You know, uh, verse twenty one, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, "Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall no shall be found no more at all." And with and the voice of harpers and musicians and pi and pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and yeah, no craftsmen. That's what you're saying. 
the music, the music is already shit as it is, man. All the, the so-called greats we have, what the world name is, uh, uh, Rita Franklin, she passed away today. All the greats are gone. I mean, when music was made with, with uh, actual uh, instruments and shit, place is gone. You got what we got today, mumble rappers and all type of damn weirdos and shit. They put tattoos and paint the hell all kind of crazy ass colors and shit, man. It, this shit is it's gone as shit. And when you go into the you go into the uh, study of the Roman Empire, the Roman Empire felt the same way, man. It had no creativity. Everything that they'd done was uh it was just a, a carbon copy of some shit they already already put out, man. Uh, yeah. Making uh Scarface two, three, four, and five, man. Don't fuck up a classic, man. You know, you know these people uh, making uh, Jason goes to Manhattan five and six. Chucky comes to uh, you know Chucky and the Bride and shit. They, they made that shit already, man. That shit's old old news, man. Come up with some new shit. And they can't. Every nigga that's uh in the music industry, he's done that sampling some shit. Yep. Uh, artists already made already, man. Mm-hmm. Shit, they, got, they got songs. They sam- They sample. It's a sample of a sample, man. Damn. But, it's a damn remix of a fucking remix, man. You yeah. know, but that, like you said, nothing, nothing's original no more, man. There's, you know, the, and you, you know, the Lord. You can tell the Lord is really taking the spirit out of this place, man. You know, and I, I did a lesson recently, uh, basically saying that there is no way this is not the end, man. And like you said, I mean, you, you can just look around, man. You can look around and look at these, look, look at how these people look. And you you know it's just the end, man. There's no way. There's no way it's not the end, man. It it, it can't be possible that this is that this cannot be the end, man. That's right, people man. are totally through, man. See, but right? People bugging out, killing their moms, their grandma, all type of shit happening, man. You watch some of the, the world news out here and all these different states and shit. People are wilding the fuck out, man. Mm-hmm. You know. But go ahead, I finish. Nah, of whatsoever craft he be. Shall be found any shall be found any more envy, and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all envy, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all envy, and the voice of the bridegroom and the and of the bride shall be heard no more at all envy, for thy merchants were great men of the earth, for by the sorceries were all nations deceived, and that's hey, that's that witchcraft man. Yeah. America, yeah. It, that's that's that deception, man. The so-called white man is is good at making America seem like like it's this big, glorified place, man, glorified place. But when you actually live here, when you actually a lot of these people that immigrate here, they're like, shit, I'm I'm fuck this, I'm going back to my own country, you know, because they make it seem like this is the land of opportunity. But once you're out here, man, you're struggling, man. You know, and like the brother Kashkwala said beautifully, this is a third world country. You just have, it's literally a third world country. It's just you have nice little, you just got TVs and shit. Mm-hmm. And nice, you know, little car, nice little cars and shit. So it'll make it seem like it's not, but it is. All right. Yeah. And the re- well, the reason it is is because it's all debt. All right. All uh, right. Verse 24, and in her was found the blood of the prophets and of saints and of all that was slain upon the earth. And that's that's another reason America got to be destroyed is because it's blood on the soil, man. A lot of the elect and, and righteous men have been slain on this soil, man. Okay? And, it, and this land has not been ever uh, uh, retributed. Okay? All right? And that tab hasn't been paid, so so that's one reason America got to be destroyed, you know. Real quick, and, and that real quick, huh? God, you got it, bro. This is the numbers, uh, thirty-five, thirty-three. So shall God. you the land wherein you are, for blood to follow the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by him, by him that shed it. That's right. God. Hey, hey, that's right, bro. So like, yeah, that's that's right. Cause it, it can't be it can't be cleansed except by him that shed it, man. All right, and that's one reason the so-called white man has to uh, be be paid back. Okay, all right, and that's that and that's what proves that that uh, that um 
when we bring up the past, when we bring up uh, uh, the Gadites being slaughtered and, and um, you know, Jake, uh, uh, so-called Negroes going to slavery, that's the reason why we're bringing it up. And that's the reason why it's still relevant today is because that blood has not been uh, uh, retributed, you know? All right? Y'all brothers got you had, you had some. Yeah. yeah. Quick precept, if y'all want. Did y'all brothers have anything? You got it, bro. You got it. Because uh, I noticed we read in uh, the, the book of Revelation, it talked about Esau's sorceries. <clears throat> and uh, it was beautiful. You brought out that numbers because, you know, that, that, can, uh, that can go with that Deuteronomy 30, 30 and 7, mm -hmm. where the curses are going to jump back on Esau. Okay? And that, that's what's that? A recompense or a retribution. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. uh, so this is Isaiah chapter 47 and 9. It says, but these, this is just to the point, it says, but these two things shall come to thee in the moment in one day, like we read in Revelation 18, um, for in one hour, the great city, you know, Babylon got taken down, got taken down. It, 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 I think it says it three times in that verse, or in that, in that chapter. Yeah, uh, earlier up, it says in one hour, and then when you read uh, the second verse in Revelation 18, it says, uh, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. Mm -hmm. So in that one moment or in that one day, all these things are going to come on to the, to the Edomites. All right. So Isaiah 47 and 9, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and, and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. Okay. The, uh, the, the, uh, so-called white men, biblically known as the Edomites, they a bunch of warlock and wizards, man, who conjure up uh, demonic spirits and, and you know make make all people go off and whatnot. So for your your sorceries and, and your enchantments that you had on on on, uh, on us, it's gonna come back on you, and and now you're gonna experience uh, your child being head being bashed in. You're going to experience going into slavery. You're going to experience, you know, all the atrocities that you did on us, but uh, double the destruction, like the scripture said. Oh my God, I was going to say, they got some more meat on that bone, but also mostly, yeah. mostly your top witches in America stay in uh, Sonoma County, California, man. And you can find out mm -hmm. through a guy by the name of uh, John Todd. he tell you that most of your witches, actual witches, man, you know, that they, they use these different... Um, these different stuff that they use to summon demons and, and then talk with Satan they, they stay in California, man. And they can be women and men, man. This is what America is about, man. They got different uh these devils use different what they call ley lines or landline ley lines that uh these demons they did yeah, allow these demons to come in and out of man. That's why why you think America has so many symbols? When you look at the different top of these buildings, a lot of them are pyramids. A lot of, a lot of them have uh, what we know as Green Man, or uh, which is Satan. You know, on the, on the different uh, the different gargoyles that's on the buildings and shit. Oh, yeah. The demons that they, and, and entities that they pray to, man. Kali. You know, we can go on and on and on and on about these different demons, man. But this was this was America was built on, man. Sorcery, witchcraft, man. That's why it's, it's used to people with different drugs, man. Yep. K2, K12, uh, Flocka, uh, Heron, the list goes on and on and on. Different, different. Man, look at when we was little, the weed was just weed. You get weed and want to have munchies. Now the day you get weed, you want to run down the street butt ass naked and jump on somebody <laughs> with you. <laughs> Wait, man, this shit is strong, man. Mm -hmm. But get somebody that's some more meat on their bone, all right? We're like go all down to about uh about 13. Like, yeah, it's some heavy. Kind. Okay. It says verse 10. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, uh, none see of me. You know, Esau going around talking, you know, but obviously he doesn't he doesn't recognize that uh Yahweh Shai's eyes are ten uh with ten thousand times brighter than the sun. He got he got his angels watching. You know, he's saying, no one saved me. And then also it says, in the beginning, it says, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. 
because I think it's when you read, I forgot what chapter it is in the book of Revelation. Uh, I want to say like the fifth or sixth chapter, but towards the end, it says that he didn't, re he didn't even repent for the things he'd done after getting uh, uh, jacked up by the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. He didn't even repent. So it says, uh, verse 10 again, for thou has trusted in, in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and knowledge, and thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. That goes to him saying that I'm God. That goes back to the, the second Thessalonians, oh. uh, the second chapter. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That he present, he pretty much he presents himself as the higher power. Mm -hmm. Hence why you see him making GM, uh, GMOs, genetically modified animals. You know what I'm saying? Storing, storing uh, uh, semen and sperm. Yep. You know, just to experiment with a pig, and now you got pig humans coming out of a pig. Yeah. You know, this yep. is it's totally off whack. You know, a good movie that shows that is that movie Splice. You know, it's, they just made some genetically modified creature that was human, part animal, and all that shit. Man. He thinks he's God. You know. Um. It says, uh, verse of, oh, Salat, uh, Salakia. It said, pervert. It says, thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And when you read Proverbs 16 and 2, in, in that scripture, it, uh, uh, it specifically says, uh, you know, paraphrasing, let me say, that a man may think his ways are clean, but the most high way, he weighs the spirits. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what he thought, the wisdom and the knowledge that he had was a, 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 a suffice or is beneficial, actually is what was perverting it. Of, of everything around him, including himself. That's right. You know, uh, verse 11, it says, uh, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Uh, it says, thou shalt not know, uh, it's a lot, thou shalt not know from Whence it rises. <laughs> That's right. But where's the animals? Mm -hmm. When they go, you think you got away? Yep. Bears chasing you or lions chasing mm -hmm. you? You put your hand on that wall, that, that serpent bites you. You didn't know where it came from. Ain't no escape. It's like, look, it, it's, it's hell on all, on all different sides. Mm -hmm. it's, and that's, you know, I quoted it earlier the Deuteronomy 30 and 7, where the curse is going to come back on you. Because guess what? We're walking through the valley of the shadow of death right now. We got death all around us too. We don't know sometimes when evil is going to come our way, when Satan's going to pop out the woodwork, pop out a tree and be like, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? But we, you're going to have to experience that too, but on a way higher level. You know? It says, um, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know, you know? That's that peace and safety and the sudden destruction, you know what I'm saying? And it says, um, it says thou shalt not be able to put it off. It's gonna be stuck on you like white on rice, like Jake like to say, yep. you know, when they playing basketball, man, you know, I'm, you know, I'm deeming you up like white on rice, man. The Lord's on you, I'm pretty, he on your ass, man, you know? When he, when he gives the green light and Jacob's trouble and all these uh, uh, calamities come your way, Esau, you know, you ain't going to get away from me, you know, if y'all brothers want to go ahead and explain. Hey, and that, that's why it's a beautiful thing to be in this truth, man, and be enlightened by Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. Shah, man. It's a reason to say, Kahala Yahweh Bashim Shah, man, because two thirds of our people, we having a conversation about reality, prophecy, all right? We're in the real world. We're redeeming the time we know is evil. But just think about if you a dildo head talking about going to the club week in and week out and you don't know the time you're living in, bro. You know, you don't even know who your fucking enemy is. We're talking about the downfall of our motherfucking enemy that had us in derision the last 500, 600 years, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a beautiful thing to know the, the times you're living in. Let me bring out this precept right there. This is, uh, this is uh, Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which... So like it. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and a tent I will utter with my tongue. A man to have joy of his children. We don't have joy of our children in this society 
because of this devil we are prophesying about right now who's coming down. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And when you look around, man, like we said, man, this devil, see, see hit him losing the grip of his power, man. In America, the infrastructure is a carbon copy of ancient Rome, man. Uh, the infrastructure is falling in. Just like in ancient Rome, you had the eastern and the western front. They was beefing. You know, you had two different fucking emperors. America is a nation divided amongst its own people. I'm, we talking about amongst the Edomites, man. So it is a beautiful time to be conscious in, in this truth, man. Because all these prophecies is coming to pass in our day and time, man. God, that's right, bro. Hey, this 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 is an exciting time to be living, man. You know, like like that uh, like that album. What a time to be alive, man. You know, this this is this is it, man. You know, this this is it. We're we're right at the at the threshold. Okay, we're right at the door. Okay. Of of basically the so-called white man going down. Matter of fact, I'll get that real hey, quick. Hey, so like y'all, uh when uh, you say this is it, what that nigga Michael Jackson said before he checked out, his last yeah. album was gonna be This Is It. And then he checked out. That that's that's how it's rocking out for Esau, man. This is it. He's about to go and chains and fetters, man. He's he's coming in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven awaits him. It awaits him. It's gonna be his hell. I got one real. You see, this is one for that devil real fast, man. Uh, got it, bro. Real quick, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Let me find it. Taking some light. Uh, should be about right up in here. Man. I got something real quick while you're getting that. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually. You got it. Yeah, there you go. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 9. It says, Hell from beneath is moved for, for thee to meet thee at thy coming. <laughs> you know? Huh. You know yep. Everybody, we waiting for the downfall, the, 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 the trees and plants and animals, man, the angels, everybody waiting for you to fall, man. The, the ones who in the know, the spiritually woke, man. Just like, just like I would hell... It's his heaven. When hell meets him at his coming, that's going to be our heaven. It's all this, this. These scriptures is all about dominion, man. Power and dominion, man. When you're in reality, right? You got it, bro. Hey, go ahead. Uh. Um, okay. Uh, this, real quick. This is uh, Second Ezra six and seven. Then answered. Matter of fact, let me see. Okay, yeah. Then answered I and said, "What shall be the parting asunder of the time?" Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. This is the time we're in, man, of this transition, man. Okay? this That's why this is such a, a, a pivotal time. To, to be living, okay, to, to witness, okay, is because this is this is the the end of all wickedness. Okay, go, Bob. Say it again. I want to back you up. Scripture to back okay, you up. Kind of, yeah, you got it, bro. You're right. Ten and eight. It says because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and uh -huh. rich got by the seat, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yep, that's right, bro. And that's a hey, just like you said. Just like you brought out that word trans translation, man. Okay, it's gonna be translated, man. Okay. All right. I got another one real fast. God, go ahead. This is uh Sirach 11 and 18. It says, There is that there is that wax it rich by the warness and pension, and did and this is the portion of his reward. Whereas he has said, I have found rest, and none will eat continually of my goods. And yet he knoweth not what time shall come upon him, and that he must leave those things to another and die. <laughs> God, you got it, bro. Huh? You got it, bro. Yeah, man. And that's, and that's to the so-called white man. You know, he don't consider that those things that uh he have gotten over over the years through robbery and deceit and, and treachery, man, that you're gonna leave those things to uh, to us, man. No, 
Oh, everything, man. Everything you gonna let the scriptures go into Job. You gonna vomit everything up, man. Oh yeah. Hey, you just said it. I'm holding that priest up. All right. Hey, let, me, let me bring it up. It's Job 20 verse 19. Because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor, because he have violent taken away in the house which he built it not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. Then shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. That's his new world order, man. Yeah. When he think it's about to go down, when he think he's uh, fulfilled his will. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And ultimately, too, man, that goes into that chip, man, because he, uh, his, his, uh, the fulfillment of his enterprise is actually to chip everyone, man, to make you people really goyim, really to make you out of some, some sheeple, man. And we, we sit up here warning you goddamn copper top, man, you fucking numbskulls, you, especially you niggas, man, that come up against us, somebody ain't the chip, that's an embargo, that's John 316, man. You niggas need to die, man, the most gruesome, horrible death slowly, man. Okay, go ahead, Ah. He go to he go to meet a uh, he Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah. So when you say peace and peace and safety, then shall the great Yah great wrath of Yahweh by Shema shall fall on him, man. That's right, man. These times we live in this. Hey, you had a precept you was bringing out, didn't it, bro? Me. Got my island. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yes, yeah, so like yeah, um I got uh Romans 8 and 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of the most high. All right, and every everybody's waiting, man. The animals, the it says every creature. So the animals can't wait to be free from, from, from their uh terrible situations, okay, from the from the pollution, okay. The, even the heathens, they can't wait to stop dealing with this damn devil, man. You know, the heathens can't wait to 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 be free from from because you know we're gonna rule in righteousness. You know, we're still gonna be kicking these heathens' ass, but we're gonna do it in righteousness, and they're gonna respect it. They gonna like it. <laughs> yeah, they gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because because even e, e, the reason they hate these heathens say Esau Esau don't keep his word, man. Yeah, he can make a he have a treaty with them. Uh, come and make a deal with him, and he breaks it. You know, he just did that with Iran. So mm -hmm. even when when we're in our power, you know, uh, Israelite man pride on having a word. He prides on being righteous. We're gonna deal with them justly. You know, at we, during them thousand years, they're gonna get it had, their asses handed to them. But when we deal with them, they're gonna get a fair shake, man. Yeah. They come and and do a, a deal with us, or bring us one of their daughters or something. We're gonna deal with them justly. You know. I got one to back it all up real fast. All right, you got it, bro. There's a uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Uh, I'm going to jump over. It says, uh, Proverbs 28 and 12. It says, when the righteous man do rejoice, there is a great glory. But when the wicked arise, a man is hidden. <laughs> Car. Car. Yeah, bro. And hey, we'll, um, I got. We'll, we'll probably get a couple more. Get ready to close if y'all had y'all had a few more. I got one more real quick. This is uh actually I I'll just go down to uh. I forgot where about I, what you brought us at. I forgot about that. Kind. Yeah. I'm a, um. Well, I'm gonna just go down to twenty one. Says because the creature, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the most high see that so the the bondage of corruption all right this devil is corrupt all right matter of fact in my bible it says uh uh that word corruption it has a definition and it says decay and death Damn. you know and that everything is decaying man everything this whole this whole world is, is just straight death, man. All right. Okay, it says uh the bondage. So pretty much that's the bondage of decay and death. All right. 
And it says, into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High, which that's going to be a glorious liberty, man. It's going to be these, these heathens and, and well, everyone, they're going to they're gonna marvel at, at Yahweh Shai and, and the righteousness, the spirit that we have, the love that we have for, for one another, the, uh, the way we deal, okay, the, the way, like the brother said, the way we uh, uh, are going to be just, okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, all right? But, you know, like we said, um, this kingdom has to, has to be demolished before we can get to that step, okay? And that's why at our, our duty as men of the Lord, we have to continue to push and fight, okay, so that we can be held worthy to, to take part in, 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 in the um, the righteous kingdom, okay? If y'all brothers had any closing statements or precepts, I got, I got a closing precept to go with what you said. Uh, uh, this place is decaying, man. The infrastructurally, the buildings, the roads, everything is falling apart. I got to strip it to back you up. Before we close, this is Revelations uh, 8 and 10. It says, And the third angel sounded, and there was a, a great star, which represents the nuclear missiles, man, from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of what of the waters and upon the foundations, like on the, on the fountains of the waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, which means when you go look into the word Wormwood, it means a bit of destruction, man. You know, and that's what this place is gonna get because the Lord also said that He spread the worm, the worm upon the uh, America, man. If you have worms uh, on something like meat, a uh, 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 body. What happens? It's decaying, man. It's decomposing. So it's the same thing with America, man. The worm is spread up under this bitch, man. You know, it says in the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. You know. Yep. Hey, that that's it. That's it, you know. And I mean, we just gotta we just gotta sit back and, 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 and let the Lord do his thing, man. That's it. Just hold on. Hold on to this thing the best we can. And 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 let the Lord do his work. All right. Oh yeah. If I may say, yeah. if I may say that the scripture you brought out too, speaking about uh wormwood, uh wormwood. Wormwood and the fact that it means a bit of destruction, even when you go into the name America, it means, uh, bro. It means bitter. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you know that's a, a very specific, specific omen. Uh, scripture. Go ahead, bro. So what? Omen, omen. Omen, omen, yeah. Oh, yeah, omen, omen. Yeah, yep. so, you know, that America was named this for a specific reason, you know? Uh, yeah, hey, bro, can close it out. You can go ahead and close it out, you ain't quiet. Yeah, so with that, man, Lord willing, is uh, sit down with edifying to the hearers, man. We're going to give infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation and greeting to you sincere brothers pushing this truth across the four winds. Kwam Yasharala, death to America. Shalom. 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 Shalom.